he was always dressed in black. Long black jacket, broad black hat, sometimes a cape, and as thin, and as thin as rubber tape, black max. He would raise that big black hat to the big shots of the town, who raised their hats right back, never knew they were bowing to Black Max. I'm talking about 19 Rotterdam, when the right night people of all the town would find what they could in the night neighborhood of Black Max. There were women in the windows with bodies for sale. Like little girls in little doll house jails. When the women walked the streets with the beds up on their backs, who was lifting up his brim to them? Black Max. And there were looks for sale. Only certain people walk that mystery mile. Artists, charlatans, vaudevillians, men of mathematics, acrobatics, and civilians. There was not a need of music from a lady organ grinder with all her sons behind her. Marco, Vito, Benno, was he strong? Though he walked like a woman. Still alive. Ah, uh, poor Marco had the sif. And if you didn't take that terrible cure in those days, you went crazy and died. And he did. And at the coffin, before they closed the lid, who raised his lid? Black Max. I was climbing on the train, one day going far away, to the good old U.S. of A. I heard some music underneath the tracks, standing there beneath the bridge, long black jacket, broad black hat, playing the harmonica one hand free to lift that hat to me. Black Max, Black 